Another short poem by Norman McCaig today, this time requested by Chris Fry. Throwing stuff away is not easy, especially if, like me, you were brought up by a man who had very little his entire life. My dad would pick up screws and washers he spotted in the streets and slip them into pockets, often a waistcoat pocket. I guess these items were more common in those post-war streets when stout wooden joinery held up the masonry either side of bombed dwellings in every other row. These gleanings would be transferred to tobacco tins in the shed when he returned home. Come in handy, boy, he would say, smiling as he stooped to salvage. It was inevitable that I would grow up to be a hoarder, and own tins of my own, as well as inheriting his. The trouble has been that I've never been as poor as he was, and I have accrued a king's treasury of washers and spoils of almost every other sort of fastening in the course of my lifetime. I've even a hoard of empty tins shelved and waiting for new fillings. Such behaviour is only sustainable if you've a sprawling ancestral mansion, but my homes have become progressively smaller. I remember throwing stones as a kid, as an adult too, but never with this sort of obsessive compulsion, and never did the idea creep in that this was rehearsal for a tidy life. Besides, we throw too much into the sea as it is. This is Small Boy. Small Boy. He picked up a pebble and threw it into the sea, and another, and another. He couldn't stop. He wasn't trying to fill the sea. He wasn't trying to empty the beach. He was just throwing away. Nothing else but. Like a kitten playing, he was practising for the future, when there'd be so many things he'll want to throw away if only his fingers will unclench and let them go.